caught in the crossfire. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different this week. I injured my ankle at work, so I haven't been able to get out to the casino like I wanted to. Should be recovered hopefully by the end of the week and I'll be able to get back out there. And the next video I plan on doing is how to play a slot machine. So, if you actually want to check that video out about all the different slot machines, how to play them, what they all do, make sure you like and subscribe because that'll be coming out this week. This week we're going to talk a little bit about the casino. It's been open up for almost a month now, officially almost a month now, and some interesting things have happened. So, the grand opening, as you guys know, I went to it. Uh, video will be linked at the end of here. If you haven't seen that video, I went around the place, showed it. Very packed, uh, so packed in fact that I believe their, their printing machines for the cards actually broke. They weren't able to print any more cards. Uh, other than that, we'll talk about a few things. So, as I went to the casino a couple times here, I noticed that some of the machines are, are down. Some of them are still down. That could be, you know, part and partial to growing pains. Brand new casino, things like that's gonna happen. The, uh, also the smoking issue, which seems to be quite a smoking gun, no pun intended. If you look all around the so social media, all over, that's all they talk about is the smoking. Why is there smoking? You need a non-smoking section. We hate the smell of smoke, hate the smell of smoke. I myself don't mind it. I go in there, I don't really notice the smell of smoke doesn't bother me a whole lot. In fact, as you can see there, I you know like to have a little cigar sometimes when I'm sitting it there. But the casino listened right here. They said, all right, we're gonna make half the casino non-smoking. So you guys were listened to and they changed a little bit there. But I have heard from some people saying that there's still people smoking inside of the non-smoking section. So I'm not sure if they're just not enforcing it or not, but maybe that will change in the future. Uh, also, people are complaining about some of the table limits. Uh, a lot of your craps tables, I think I believe there's three craps tables in there. One is digital uh, and two are the actual table, which the digital one looks pretty cool. I actually want to play that one. You still get up and physically roll the dice, but you sit at a computer and you play, and I believe the minimum bet's like $5. The tables are minimum bet, $50. A lot of people are upset about that because who wants to play $50 a bet, you know, right there at the casino, things like that. Uh, we do know the alcohol situation there. They do not have free alcohol while drinking, similar to like other casinos. You do have to pay for it. I know the big cans are about $7, $8. Uh, we went there, me and the wife and a friend went there, played some video poker at the bar. The cans, big cans, $7, $8 a pop. The sports book is hopping, lots of people in there. Uh, but yeah, the table minimums. So there have been a few fights at the casino, as you see here. Yes, it is. Now again, I don't know who uh, made this video who the original creator was I was told there was a longer version of it This is the only version that I could find and if you look at it It's been copied a couple times a friend of mine sent it to me So I'm not sure who the original Filmer and uploader of that video is because TikTok allows you to like do stitches and film and it sort of layers the creator So if you are watching this and you're the original uploader of that video, give me a comment down below I will let you know. So there was this fight here, and then shortly after that, like a week, I believe, or two after, there was this incident. We gonna rob everything. We gonna take everything. So this guy was not happy. Not really sure uh, what happened there. As you can see, the uh, the casino employee was trying to figure it out. He didn't really want to hear it. He just kept saying that they're going to take everything. So not really sure what went on there, but it's just, you know, kind of showing some stuff about what's going on. Again, longer version. Not really sure who uploaded that one. It was sent to me, so if you are the original, again, comment down below, and I will link whatever sort of social media you want down there below. Uh, also with filming, so I originally was told when I went into the casino during the grand opening that I was allowed to film in there. Uh, the security said they haven't heard anything. You could go ahead. We're on there filmed. We booked a reservation for the Admiral Steakhouse. We were pretty excited to go to the Admiral Steakhouse. It's going to be one of the first ones to get in there and uh, get some glimpses of it. We got a phone call about 30 minutes later, or no, excuse me, 30 minutes before our reservation saying, hey, uh, we noticed in your 
comments that you said you'd be filming. Uh, again, I, I, I say that in my comments usually when I make a reservation because I want them to put me somewhere where I'm not going to film a whole lot of people and I'm not going to disturb anybody talking to the camera like this. You know, some people, they like to stare or they don't really want to be in the camera and you can see them behind you. So I like to try to, if I can, get in a corner where I'm not going to mess with anybody. So I got a phone call saying, you can't film anywhere in the building. And I was like, anywhere like in the restaurant or like the whole, they were like on the property period, you can't film there. So it was kind of contrary to what I, uh, what I gotten the first time. I did make a phone call. Uh, they said that they would get back to me. I have yet to hear anything back. Uh, another YouTuber reached out and said that they were told that they were good to film. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. If you are a member of the casino executive manager whatever of the rivers casino in portsmouth if you happen to be watching this could you let me know my contact email will be in the description or you can leave a comment down below i will let you know that the only reason why we actually went to vegas is that for some reason youtube suggested some casino videos to me on my youtube algorithm and i started watching them me and the wife started watching them you know there was one on bc slots brian christopher slots he's one of my favorite ones a lot of my videos the slot challenges and things like that even the group slot pull that i got in trouble for doing uh was basically inspiration from him so we watched a lot of these and we were like you know what let's go to vegas like we really had no inkling to go to vegas we had other things we wanted to go to you know go over to england ireland that kind of thing we were like you know what let's go to vegas kind of want to check this place out and we've been going pretty much every year ever since we are gold in mgm so we do spend a little bit of money in the casinos that being said youtube videos work they get people motivated they get people wanting to try these casinos so if you are a casino executive i implore you implore you to let us film in there you know we're not there to cause trouble we're just there to sit down film some slot machines show the food upload it so people can check it out and then make their own opinion and come on in so that being said uh i was also informed by someone who went to the casino a couple of weeks ago a week or two ago he said he went there about 2 a.m and they stopped serving alcohol. Apparently, they was getting a little rowdy in there. They quit serving alcohol, and the group of people that apparently was causing the rowdiness. Now, this is, an un this is unconfirmed from the casino. This is coming directly from the person who witnessed this, who was there that night. He said they tried to rush the bartender area in the back because they cut off the alcohol. So, apparently, casino is now cutting off the alcohol at 2 a.m., just like every other bar. It, they do have the permission to be 24 hours. But they are cutting it off at 2 a.m. now because of the uh, the issues that they've been having. Now, will that stay? I don't know. They do have the permission, like I said, to film. Hey, old people. That's my dog. Uh, they do have the permission to film, or not film, but uh, serve alcohol all the way around the clock. But they have stopped that. So, other than that, uh, that's all I've really heard. The hotel... I believe there's some stipulations with the hotel that they have to meet first if they end up making a certain amount of money with a certain amount of time. There's also the Norfolk Casino that has to get built as well. They haven't even broke ground on that one yet. I'm not sure what's going on. They have not posted since November of last year. So I don't know what's going on there. No groundbreaking. Uh, nobody said anything about that. That's the, really the casino that I was looking forward to. So I'm going to try to get some good content on that one. But other than that, that's all I really got for you this week. I do appreciate you uh, coming by and watching. If you've been to the casino, what's been your experience? Leave a comment down below. Negative, positive. Are you going to go back? Are you like, no, forget this place. I'll stick with the you know, other casinos around here up in Maryland, you know, National Harbor, Atlantic City, that kind of stuff. You know, let me know down below. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. For those of you who have just subscribed here recently, we really appreciate you. Welcome to the channel. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Give this video a share so it gets spread around so we can get more people. But I'm going to nurse this ankle and hopefully we'll be back ready to go back to that casino again and lose some more money. But that's really all I got for you. So as always, tripping ain't easy, but it sure is fun.